Hey everyone, today we're opening the Acer Nitro V17 AI model ANV1741. For full lab tests, thermals, display accuracy, battery life, and more, read our review on laptopmedia.com. The link is below. Let's dive in. To access the components, remove 10 screws and lift the bottom cover. We are using a JIS number one screwdriver. All screws are the same length. With a thin plastic tool, release the clips around the edges. First we will remove the battery. It's secured by two screws. Capacity is 76 watt hours. Primary SSD. Second M.2 slot, empty. Two so dim slots. Wi-Fi card, MediaTek RZ616, Wi-Fi 6E with Bluetooth 5.3. Cooling over CPU and discrete GPU. Dual fans with shared heat pipes. Disconnect the battery connector before touching other parts. Remove the two battery screws and lift the pack slightly. You can check the result of our battery life test on laptopmedia.com. And don't forget to visit our top 100 laptops with the best battery life ranking page. Take out the installed drive. Western Digital SN5000S, 1TB, PCI Express 4. Reinstall it, secure the screw and reconnect as needed. Mm -hmm. 
Remove the memory module. The metallic wrap acts as an EMI and RFI shield. The two SODIMM slots support up to 5,600 mega transfers per second. We won't remove the Wi-Fi card. Here's the second M.2 bay for another NVMe drive. A final look at the touchpad area and brace below it. And one last look at the cooling assembly. That's the inside of Acer's Nitro V 17 AI. For thermals and fan noise charts, display measurements and real-world battery life, see our review on laptopmedia.com, link below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more teardowns and upgrades.